Hi Mark, <coughs> sorry for my English. So this is my <coughs> my way to attach the bags on Vespa. The idea is uh, not touching the uh, the body of uh, Vespa because everything that touch the paint can ruin it. But uh, first things you need is the fantastic racks from uh, classic racks from England and uh, of course good shock absorber in this case I use a uh, carbon ones that uh, they actually I did 20,000 kilometers with them and they are really fantastic because the original one are really really weak so as you can see here, the classic rack uh, top box I use it to to keep uh, how can I say to keep uh, the the weight of top box with the cord on the on the Vespa side. So the 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 force, the strong, the, 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 the weight have to, to come on this way and I use this, just attach it to the classic, to the, to the rack on here and then on here and on here then there are these, these two cords you can see the green one attached to here that keeps the bags in this way <coughs> the cord does not touch it's stainless steel cord but you can use whatever okay it passed through here and in here then <coughs> to attach the bags I use the the original <coughs> chrome profile the bags is does does not move at all. The bags is GV, and they did a modification inside. I make it. I made it stronger. The base. I don't know if you can see well. Yeah. I just reinforced them inside. <coughs> then I pass the bugs belt in here. You see? And in the back side, I take the light, hoping you can see. In here, I hope you can see. And then attach it to here. So, of course, the light indicators are covered, and I attach two light indicators on the top box just to be sure that people behind me can see when I'm turned left or right. <laughs> of course, and uh, what's 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 more. So, as you can see, the bugs does not move in. Uh, in uh, they are very strong, and you can put all the weight you want. As as I say, the most important thing is to attach the top box to to make sure that uh, the weight is always on 
on Vespa, not on the back. So it doesn't, I don't know if you can see, but <coughs> it doesn't move. Okay, so any question are welcome. So remember, the first thing very important is the shock absorber. Carbone, for my understanding, is the best that you can find. Then I can also, I added also two uh, rubbers on top, the, uh, the peaks type ones, to make it a little bit higher. And uh, they works really, really fantastic. The Vespa is really, really stable. And uh, I had no problem at all. It's now more than 10,000 kilometers that I'm using uh, this configuration. And uh, it's really, really good. Ah, one more thing that I want to show you is a small modification that I did inside the top box. <coughs> So, 